Here's an example of, of how I like to expand uh, early yeah, in the game. Kind of We're going to follow the same game through. However, I'm going to skip some parts to ensure that the video remains short. I like to expand on only one side at a time, as the cysts only build one cyst at a time. If you expand too widely, you will find you are spending too much early res, which is easily killed by marines. Play start. As there is a gorge in Pipeworks, it is able to heal the cysts to cause them to build quickly, allowing me to expand more widely than I normally do. In an effort to defend this room, I now place a crag here for the gorge to be the to hard point. Unfortunately, this proves yeah, to be futile. Back to get health. I try to encourage my teammates to defend the gorge. while taking the opportunity of the distraction to expand on the other side of the pipeworks. This is later in the same game where Pipeworks has been taken. Okay. What shall I use infestation in this case to counteract the mines which automatically explode once the infestation reaches them? Mines and Pipeworks. This lone skulk has nowhere to kill the mines by himself. A little bit later on, my teammates enter the room. Notice how the mines, especially in the top left of the room, explode when the infestation hits them. Whoops. There goes one now. I now use Enzyme from the Drifter to ensure that my teammates can attack the power node efficiently, while also trying to build spurs near our hive and build a shade to support this gorge tunnel. A little bit later on, you'll see how I echo in the support structures to help my teammate, who has just taken the smelting tech point. Echo is an ability of shades, which allows you to move any nearby structure wherever you like on the map, yes, as long as it is infested. I move my crank and shift into this room so I can heal my teammates. I encourage my teammates to okay. stay at tip top sure. shade. Take transit, but what in order to ensure that they are mostly effective. Take down this extract. Take a containment, help us out, mate. Now as containment is under attack, I use a bone wall to a delay an imminent rush. Without this, the marines would be in the room at this point, and they would be damaging critical structures. Okay. Now my teammates have had an opportunity uh, to enter the room, and they can defend it. I use the Craig, Craig's ability for heal wave, and the drift Actually, ability for membrane to, to table, help to heal key structures. Later on, I use a bone wall to split an incoming rush, so that only three marines enter the room, minimizing the damage. Notice how the marines retreat at this point because I've been trapped in the room too long. I contain the flamethrower and attempt to attack him myself. This distracts him, but the most important thing is to remain alive during this attack, as I cannot help heal my clutches while I am here. See how I continue to use the heal wave ability and membrane ability to keep things alive, or using the bone wall to restrict the number of marines in the room at a given time. <sighs> at this point, the marine commander is starting to ask his teammates to stop attacking our hive, as it is giving us the rest of the map. Keep it up. Having all the marines tied up in this hive allows us to expand freely throughout the map, and it's my job to ensure that I continue to expand in those areas while defending the hive. Note how the Gorges are using their Vile ability to destroy enemy armory, weapons before armory, they armory. can be reclaimed, costing the Marines valuable p rares. Alright, North Lava's going down. This is why Vile okay, ability is commonly the first the ability unlocked, using an extra biomass nice. and Gorge upgrade early in the game. Check a shade there, Com. Now, let us take advantage of a new make tunnel that has been established in Kansas. Yeah, cross map tunnel should, should be very helpful if we keep... I place the shade in the room, and then I once again move the sh shift and crag from smelting into this room, placing them in I a defensive position in the room. Room. Like a whip hero on it. We're missing one more spur. I also place a whip in the room with the gorge. Yeah, just lost it. 
Yeah, yeah put this rest up. I can. This I can put it up. then becomes a critical point for our attack into the marine base very shortly. There's a shift in there with you. It's very sure if you stay About two right. minutes later, we begin to establish attacks from this location. It's my job at this I'm point to use a drifter to keep the my teammates alive. Gorgeous can stay and try and do as much damage as they can. No, the beacon. Always call a beacon if your teammate does not. So sometimes it's all you need to miss the beacon. Come back, come back. Typically after a beacon, the marines will rush out of their base and try and chase down any Onos. You must make sure you membrane them at the same time in a possible bone wall behind them. In this case, this Onos is about to die. Jetpacks, they have jetpacks. If I did not membrane no, this Onos out. now many times, he would have been shot dead. His teammates also prove essential in driving right, the jetpacker away. We just saved over 70 p res worth of Inbound. Onos there, with only 10 res worth of membrane. It's also highly demoralizing for our team if that Onos is killed. In this case, late game, you have a lot of resources to play with. Oh, got so in addition to bringing forward my support structures, I also bring for put a new hive oh, in this room, the team to turn it which off. will create eggs and make it a lot harder for the marine team to take the room back. South lava. How does it need to help? I use the Craig's heal wave ability you can make them to give the that hive a lot of early health, health. ensuring that the hive will not be killed by an imminent marine rush. Of course, in this case, it proves not to be required as our owners continue to keep them explicit. Cover me, cover me, cover me, cover me, cover me, cover me I'm low health, cover me, Jeff. Or not. Just when retreating as an owner, please good. make sure you keep your gorgeous alive. Find the spawn. Now it is time to coordinate a rush on the enemy team. But before I do this, I make sure that every area of the map is infested, making it far harder for a single lone marine to escape their base and build a phase gate somewhere. Enemies cannot build as quickly on cysts as they can off cysts. We've got infinite res now. If the marine team was turtling and we didn't have a lot of bonus coordinating, I would now build a lot of whips in one of the hives for contaminate. Instead of doing this, I decided to coordinate the owners running around and ensure they all attack the one structure in this case a power node at the same time. Hey guys, Once again, demonstrating how I try and use the existing alien positions to my advantage rather than create them myself. Let's go! Get Using the membrane and um, enzyme abilities, I can keep the owners invulnerable and accelerate their damage on the power node. Oh, Note how two jetpackers try and kill the Onos and fail because they have been healed by Membrane. I now accelerate the attack on the comm gear to ensure the game ends quickly. You may find it instructive to listen to the comments of Am, the Marine Commander, in the ready room as he talks about his, his teammates' inability to listen to orders. Adam. You guys only won because we have far retard. That's what you say every time you say it. <laughs> it's true, man. Far retards and freaking he sync for 10 minutes couldn't take the heart. It's important to listen to your commander's orders so that he can coordinate your attacks, especially as the Marines, in order to win the game. I'm feel free to assist into the flow. In this case, I support a gorge by infesting next to his hydras. Infesting next to hydras causes him to self heal and self build. Oh, now that I say that, it's once he dies, I then make sure that his teammates defend the room. Otherwise, the hydras will be quickly killed, wasting his periods. It proves that the fight over yep. flow control keeps the marines busy long enough for us to win this game. Shortly afterwards, the marines attack again just in time for my teammates to arrive. Of course, I can't watch this as I'm too busy expanding with resources. Note how I give orders to my teammates to keep them coordinated and make sure that they all do the same thing. It's important as, Marine, as, as a commander incoming, incoming to transit. tell when your team is coordinating itself and help them, and if they are not, to give them clear directions about where they must focus. It's quite often a game you'll expand, and then the team loses direction when the commander does not direct. 
his teammates to a particular location. Here are the important early upgrade spurs. I've upgraded my hive already by clicking on it making a movement hive. Now I must place spurs. Because the hive is under attack, I also place the shade to make it harder to attack. I also place the spear in an odd location to make it unlikely to be found by the marine team. Note how I also place a shade next to this odd location. Right, that's surprising. Spare. So you can spear in the hive. <laughs> However, I don't have time to enjoy this as we win the game, which is always a nice way for a game to end early. I hope you enjoyed the chance to watch this video. Please take the time to comment as this is my first video on Natural Selection 2 Commanding and I'd like to make more. Please be detailed in your thoughts on what I need, else I need to cover and any other comments you might want to make. Please subscribe for future videos and enjoy Natural Selection. It takes a long time to get comments, so give it a good try. Or you parallax or you mate. Uh, why did I pass the ops there? Oh well. There's the ops. Yeah. Ah, shit. Second IP. Oh, I don't need a second IP.